What's up everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the pipe operator, what makes it special, and how to use it in your R code. Let's go. The pipe operator comes from the Magritter package by Stefan Milton Bash. In Stefan's words, it has two primary aims, to decrease the development time and to improve the readability and maintainability of code. So the aim is to increase efficiency and improve readability, and in the process it greatly simplifies R code. Packages in the tidyverse load the pipe operator for you automatically, so you usually don't have to load Magritter explicitly. The pipe operator will forward a value or the result of an expression into the next function call or expression. So for instance, a function to filter data with the dplyr package could be written either as a uh, filter and you pass the data within the function and you filter it on, the, on, a, on a given variable, or we could pipe the data to the filter expression, and we can define what we're filtering on there. So both functions will complete the same task. However, when you want to perform multiple functions, we can get arguably clearer code by using the pipe operator. The reason why I'm using, saying arguably is because there are base R solutions that could probably give you more readable code. But for this video, we're going to go and uh, show the motivation for using the pipe operator over other options. So let's see a working example of this with uh, code in uh, our R studio. I, I set up uh, the, the console a little bit differently where, where I put the console in the top right corner so that we can read it alongside with, uh, the, uh, with the script because we're not gonna be needing the other two panes. So suppose we're working with uh, the MPG data set and uh, we wanna see the average engine displacement of cars having four cylinders and we wanna group those by transmission and we wanna see them from largest to smallest. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, call the dplyr library the first option that we can use is using nested functions. While this might be intuitive to someone who doesn't know about the pipe operator, you have code which is very hard to read. So running this code, we get, we get our, our desired output. But one of the things is that we have to read this from the middle out. So the first thing that we're doing is we're filtering our data set uh, to, uh, cars that have only four cylinders, and then we're grouping it by the transmission. And then after that, we're getting the average uh, engine size of, uh, of, of those cars per, per transmission. And then after that, we sort it in descending order. Um, so while we get the answer that we want, we have code which is quite hard to follow. If uh, for someone who's never seen it before. We can alternatively do this by using multiple objects where we're gonna first uh, define a variable A where we are gonna filter it. And then afterwards, we're gonna group our data by the transmission with a separate variable. And then having a third variable to summarize it. And then the fourth variable to go and sort it in descending order. So this is fine, but the problem with this is that if we're working with a larger data set, we're gonna be using a lot of memory. And in situations where memory is crucial, this is something that we don't want to be doing. But with the pipe operator, we have a much more readable code where we could see our data set being passed through each argument and we can follow the steps. So. We get the same output, but we can see first we're filtering our data and then we're grouping it and then we're summarizing it and then we're arranging it in descending order in a nice clear fashion. In conclusion, the pipe operator provides a cleaner, more readable alternative to writing nested functions. However, it's important to note that in the user 2020 keynote, it was noted that base R is coming up with a pipe operator of its own, but it's still under development. As of R version 4.03, it's still not released. So keep your eyes open for news about that coming out. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. All right, take care.